In this video, we'll balance the equation for phosphoric acid plus magnesium carbonate. So let's count the atoms up on each side, and we'll use a little bit of a trick here to make it a lot easier. So hydrogen, we have three of those. And then I have a PO4, it's called the phosphate ion. We have a PO4 here, this polyatomic ion, and we have another polyatomic ion here. So we can just say we have PO4, it's one item, and we have one of them here. Over here, we'll have two of them. We have Mg, one of those, and then CO3, that's called the carbonate ion. It's another polyatomic ion. We have a carbonate here, and we have a carbonate here. So we're going to call this CO3, and we have one of those. By considering these polyatomic ions as one item, and they really act like that in the chemical equation here, they stay together, that makes it a lot easier. We're not counting all these oxygens separately. So on the product side of the equation, we have two hydrogen atoms, Phosphate ions, we have two, these two here. Magnesium, we have three, and carbonate, we have one. Why don't we leave the hydrogens here to last? Let's fix the magnesiums. We could put a three in front of the magnesium carbonate here. So one times three, that would fix the magnesiums. And then the CO3, we have one of these times three. We now have three of the carbonates. That's okay, we could put a three in front of the H2CO3, two times three, that'd give us six hydrogens, then one times a three, that would give us three carbonates. So those are balanced. What's not balanced? It looks like our phosphates and our hydrogens, and this might work out well, because if we put a two in front of the H3PO4, three times two, that gives us six. The hydrogens are balanced. We have our one phosphate here, times two, that'll give us two phosphates, and the phosphates are balanced. So we're done. This equation is balanced. By considering these polyatomic ions, the phosphate and the carbonate, as one thing, that makes the balancing a whole lot easier. But if you count them individually, that's okay. You'll still get the same coefficients here. This is Dr. B for the balanced equation of H3PO4 plus MgCO3. Thanks for watching.